welcome back to the channel it's monday i really don't feel like doing my makeup i did my makeup twice this weekend and i just feel like my skin is not okay but it actually doesn't look as bad as it does on camera so maybe if i like don't try that hard which i did the first couple times maybe it'll work better why do i hate getting ready okay mary phillips makeup hackeroony going in with the contour i found that the rare beauty works the best for me oh my god i had a pimple patch right there do you see that i don't know what it is but it doesn't look like this in real life i love this thing so much there's nothing worse than waking up before your alarm because i couldn't sleep all night i like feel like i was awake all night just tossing and turning tossing and turning just finished two meetings i like to take like an afternoon break or else i get this like afternoon slump and then i just end up being productive like later in the evening whether it's like personal stuff or work stuff i feel like every time something's going right it's just like bombs drop on me it, does anyone else feel like this where it's like you finally have your shit together for a second and life's like haha haha my new approach is now trying to like not be overly dramatic just be like everything's fine it's okay it's gonna be okay like let's not make it bigger than it needs to be but i definitely got like really really stressed this morning and really really overwhelmed look at me i'm like literally calm now i'm the picture of peace I'm the picture of peace but i do like really need your guys's help for you to tell me like what your favorite part of the podcast is and like what you want more of because that would be very very helpful for me and even just saying that out loud gave me anxiety so that was fun my brother's gonna pick me up and i'm gonna go to my mom's house i haven't been over there in like a week i'm just gonna like bring my computer my ipad my kindle my stanley my headphones i'm basically like a toddler gearing up for a road trip even though my mom lives four miles away but i just like to have all my things put it all in a tote and i'm gonna go hang out with the fam and just keep being the fisher piece how good does the new mic stands look though Let's see how they clamp to the thingamabobber so there's nothing behind the chairs anymore so nice wednesday i don't know what i'm doing i've been doing my morning like routine or vlog whatever in like the TikTok style on TikTok and I actually really like it. So go check it out. Let me know if you like it. I'm gonna make a smoothie. I haven't made a smoothie since I moved into this apartment, but we're gonna do like the same thing I always do. I definitely need to clean up my fridge. Moving on. I really prefer just doing the frozen stuff because then I don't have to worry about it being good or bad. Spinach, blueberry, coconut water. Pretty sure these bananas are bad. What do you think? This one looks pretty good. I have a bunch of different protein powders to try out and today I'm gonna do Symbiotica plant protein. It has alkalized ingredients and mushrooms and it's vanilla. My favorite protein is just anything vanilla, so. I feel like this might taste horrible. Oh, I forgot, my blender stopped working. Oh my God, I forgot. Huh? Well, I just wasted all of that. What the heck? Fail. Guys, I'm just gonna like put this in the fridge so I can figure out what's going on. It's Thursday and I look like Snooki. Okay. I've been on the computer all freaking day and then the moment I got off, I've watched almost a season of The Mindy Project. So good. And I'm sleep deprived. So I'm going to sit on this couch, postmate food, and then have like a real human day tomorrow. But I did shower and wash my hair so that I could like be that real human tomorrow. It's the small wins. Here's the plan for today. Just made the bed and straightened up the living room. I did an interview with the founder on the podcast and he said that he takes this in the morning. I usually would take this at night. He said it doesn't really matter. So I find that whenever I remember to take it is better than not taking it. But this you're supposed to take more so on an empty stomach so that it like absorbs better and this is like the master an antioxidant this one tastes freaking amazing this is me and my boyfriend's favorite but yeah listen to that podcast if you want to like learn more because this is like my favorite thing ever i've been taking actually at night and usually i have to take like sleeping medicine like prescribed and i've been taking this for like two weeks at night and i kid you not i think i've only had to take sleeping medicine one time it's like incredible and i've been falling asleep like just so easily which is so not like me so so I'm obsessed and it tastes really good. My boyfriend's in the office taking meetings, 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 meetings. <laughs> the reason that matters to us is because we are gonna steal his car. We are going to drop him off at work, then take said car to do really, really important things, being Target grocery store. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a new blanket in my future. I'm feeling a couple new pairs of fuzzy socks in my future. I'm feeling maybe a marble tray table. I don't know, seems important to me. If you could just hurry up though, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more dangerous than rolling up to Target with no list. And honestly, not being fully sure what I'm even doing here. I actually did a really good job. I love doing all of my like errands really early in the morning because less people are outside. And I get really overwhelmed in Trader Joe's when it's crowded because it's kind of 
well, it's a smaller grocery store. I'm like, oh my God, sorry, sorry. Am I in your way? Oh my God, ah. And I just feel like I have to shop super fast so I don't intrude on anyone else's shopping. When it's like, in reality, we're all equal. It's equal opportunity in Trader Joe's, but not for me. If you see me in Trader Joe's, just know you come before me, sister. I also went to one of my favorite stores. It's right across actually from the Trader Joe's on Clybourne it's called Jason Home, J-A-Y-S-O-N. It's like a home decor store. It's absolutely perfection. And you can find some good stuff in there that's actually not too expensive. I wanted this brown bowl, I'll show you guys. It was on sale. With an extra 20% off, I got for like 30 bucks. Gorgeous. I'm going to my mom's for dinner tonight with the boyfriend and my brother lives in Chicago now, Hudson. So he'll be there. And then Boogie and Belle obviously will be there. Trader Joe's, Target, Jason Home, went to CB2. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for a girl that didn't need anything besides cheese for book club tomorrow. I started editing and I don't know if it's like the worst idea or the best idea to watch what your vlog looks like up until like the point where you're gonna keep filming because the whole time I'm just thinking like, oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I still look like Shit. The cool thing about having a worm brain is I already kind of forgot everything I was thinking. No explanations. No. I feel like this lighting's bad. Let me show you what I got. Meat pounder. I got these. Free and clear. This is the one thing I left the house for. Plus the cheese. Great. I want it to get more like face cloths so that I'm stop using like dirty ones probably. Compostable for the gals. I hate doing dishes. This I got from Target. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. It's cute. This is what I got from CB2. Tavern team tray and i've wanted it for a really long time but i have the green one from cb2 so i was like i don't need one but then once i really leaned in with the green for christmas and the green one's really really dirty i was just like maybe this will look cute somewhere again tbd don't know where it's going this is the bowl i got from jason home so this like you could actually put like lemons and stuff in or you can just obviously use it as like a decor piece but it's really really cute and i like how it's darker so this obviously is not going to go on the dark table it's going to go somewhere on the light section and then maybe like I'll put the light stuff in the dark section. She loves color. She loves it. And yes, I know I've been wearing the same thing for like two days. Everyone in my real life already reminds me enough. Thank you. Since I'm having people over tomorrow, I'm gonna do some like flower arrangement with this. I really like having white tulips for like the kitchen where I'll just put them somewhere, I don't know. And then I got Pussy Willow and that's what it's called. So I'm not even gonna bleep it out. I don't make the rules. I do not make the rules. I think this is like so cute. And I kind of almost had this vision in my mind of something like this because it's like brown and white, which is L-E. However, like when I was, like it kind of gives me the creeps touching it, but I think it's a mental thing. I think I just need to get over it. I don't, it's like really soft. Is that why it's called willow and then soft? Soft willow or moving on. So like everything's looking aesthetic AF on the counter. I got this white truffle popcorn to like put in a bowl for a book club tomorrow night. Oh, I should have gotten great. I guess I can get those tomorrow. This is why I like going shopping the day before I have people over so it's less stressful. So a bunch of cheeses. I got these for myself because I think I deserve them. Lots of talk about red tart cherry juice on the on the interwebs. Forgot the point. I feel like I'll hate it. I got four ginger shots because they were only 99 sense and I feel like that's a steal. Popcorn. I love the popcorn maker. And then also from Target I got these fall jar mason jars and they're kind of like the shorter and fatter ones but not too short. I really like making like overnight oats and saving like little soups and just stuff like that. Or if I'm like bringing something to a friend. I don't know. I like having these and since like I said I bring them to friends I have legitimately no mason jars. And this is also cheaper than like tiny Tupperware. So I think that's all I got. So like this is what I'm talking about though. There's really not a lot on top of here because I cleaned some stuff off and then had obviously the Christmas decor on there. There's really nothing on here because same reasoning, I guess. That's the Target chair that I think I've showed you guys. It's literally perfect. And then again, took the Christmas decorations away. So there's nothing on here. So everything's looking like really blank and plain. Oh, I actually also the last time... I was at Jason Home. I got these. They are so cute for like coffee or tea. They are also on sale for $8 each. So I got four. How freaking cute is that? I'm literally obsessed. I'm obsessed. So yeah, I think with the flowers and the couple new pieces, I'll be able to figure something out and make it look a little more done up because it's just looking like pretty plain right now. Oh my God. 
BTS, BTS. These are like permanently attached to my head now. What can I say? I'm gonna start vlogging again tomorrow to show you guys like how I set up for book club and everything. I just feel like by the end of the week, everything gets really, really messy. So that's the only thing that sucks about like obviously hosting on a weekend is like you had to really like spend part of your weekend like really, really straightening up and everything. But I do love having people over and I love hosting. I'm only having like eight or nine girls over tomorrow and we all read Flicker in the Dark and I wrote like the discussion questions and everything made it look really cute because I'm a nerd but I don't know it's like our first book club and I've been trying to start a book club with my friends since probably the pandemic we're actually doing it so I'm really excited I guess I'll report back what everyone thinks about the book and I think we're gonna read it girl next because again that's like what everyone's reading including the redheads I'll show you like the thrillers that I compiled because those are the ones that I want to read but I'm gonna start with the it girl and then go through these other ones fingers crossed that it goes well and that everyone has a good time and you will see it in the next vlog. New podcast up every Friday. Obviously, vlogs are out every single week, pretty much on Fridays. That's what I'm trying to stick to. Some stuff with just um, brands and scheduling gets mixed up sometimes, but let me know your guys' feedback um, by sliding into my DMs because YouTube comments scare me. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the vlogs are up just in case I'm not on the Insta. Make sure to follow on TikTok for like more like routines and vlogs that I've been posting lately. Let me know if you like those and I will see you guys next week. Bye.